Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook Insight User Back. So, User Back is an amazing visual feedback and bug tracking tool designed to help businesses to collect and manage feedback from their customers and team members efficiently. It is mostly used for software companies. It improves internal communications of teams, enhances user experience, and also enhances the collaboration within the team for productivity. So, I am going to show you step by step that how we can set up a connection between between user back and Pabli Connect in order to transfer the data from user back to any other application automatically whenever a specific event happens. So here we are going to set up this connection with the help of Webhook. Webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between different applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another whenever a specific event occurs. Okay, so we are going to set up Webhook inside our user back application. Before moving forward towards this connection, you can see on my screen there are two windows, trigger and action. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Let's suppose I own an automation SaaS software company and we develop a project management tool which is used by different teams on the worldwide level. So here our objective is to continuously improve our software based on the user's feedback. This will help us to stay competitive and also to meet the customer's expectations and requirements. Okay. So for that, I'm using user back to generate the feedbacks from my customers related to the software which they are using. So I want that as soon as they are going to submit any feedback related to the software or a bug issue, then immediately the response should be captured. And then I want to transfer this response to my team members, basically to my backend team on Google chat space. So let's suppose here I'm going to take user back in my trigger and Google chat in my action. So we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the feedback is submitted by a user or a customer, then only the details of that feedback along with the user's detail will be shared with the team member on Google chat space, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us start setting a webhook inside user back. For that, we have to go towards our trigger step. Here our trigger application will be user back. So let's select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So new feedback is our trigger event over here because we want that as soon as a new feedback will be added in our account, then immediately the response of that feedback with all the details should be captured inside Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow should get triggered instantly. As we have done that, we can see that a webhook URL is received to us along with some instructions. We have to follow these instructions step by step carefully to set up our connection. And the URL is going to act as a bridge because it is going to transfer the data from user back towards Pabli Connect whenever a new feedback will be added. So let's simply copy the this URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do to build this connection. First of all, it is given in the instructions that you have to log into your user back account. I have already done that. So I'm going to take you towards my account. We'll go back towards the project section and you can see that this is the project which I have created. And whenever I'm going to receive any feedback on this project, then I want to capture the response in Pabli Connect. So we have to select our project and here we can see that after coming on project, this is the option of feedbacks and here we have the option of integrations. So we have to go towards integration option and we have to click on connect after coming on integrations when we'll scroll down we will find the option of webhook so we have to select webhook option we have to click on three dots and we have to click on connect on webhook so because we have to set up this connection with the help of webhook we have selected the option now here we have the option of webhook url so simply we have to paste the url which we have copied from Pabli connect in this url field and then we have to select the specific event on the happening of which we want to capture the response here we have webhook events feedback or comment currently because I I want to set up this connection for the feedbacks that whenever a new feedback will be added in my project for the related software then the response should be captured so new feedback added will be my webhook events over here so whenever this event will be happen the response will be sent towards Pabli connect with the help of this url let's click on complete setup and here we can see that our webhook integration is activated. So when we'll go back towards Pabli Connect, it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? By creating a new feedback, by submitting a new feedback on our software. 
so i have created a page this is my website and when a person is going to visit this website when a customer is going to visit the website who is using the software when they are going to click on this report a bug button they will be able to submit their issue or the feedback which they want to send okay so we are going to click on this report a bug option and here i'm going to give the title and the description of the issue which i face which i want to submit okay this is just a test submission so i'm going to submit it from the user's perspective okay so this will be the feedback for the software navigation can confusion it is also the feedback plus the issue which the user is facing let's say the navigation menu is confusing it's not clear where to find certain features like the project settings can we have a more intuitive layout okay so the user is requesting for more enhanced layout because the layout currently we are using it's not clear to him okay so this is the feedback i'm going to submit so now i'm going to enter the email address of the user let's say the email of this person who is submitting the responses smart user 38 at the rate publicutes.com so i'm going to simply submit this response and here we can see that our feedback is submitted so let's go back towards public connect we will wait for the response over here and yes here the response is received in this response you can see that we have received all the details this is the url okay here is the type of the response that is received this is the feedback okay this is the time stamp that means the date and time at which the form and the feedback is submitted here is the window size here we have received the user id who has submitted this response when we'll scroll down here we have also received the project name that means for which project the feedback is received here we have received the email address of the person who has submitted this response who has submitted the feedback along with this here we have also received the body the description of the feedback and here we can see that we have received the title of this problem or the feedback as well so this means that our connection is absolutely successful once we have set up this connection now whenever a new feedback will be posted by a new user on the project which we have selected immediately the response with all the details will be captured inside public connect and once we have set up this connection successfully then we can transfer this response to any other application automatically by adding those applications in the action steps for example if i want to transfer these details of the feedback to my team members so that they can look upon it then i can add google chat space or slack over here in my action applications okay according to your requirements you can set up this connection so these were the steps which we have to follow in order to set up webhook inside user back i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations